Hey, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Paul. Welcome to Tech Talk. Brought to you by the Kentucky Anna TRC. What are we going to talk about today, Jeremy? Well, I've sent a couple emails out. I've not seen any response from you. You've not asked me any questions about it, so I'm just wondering if you've seen my email about the Panel View Plus 6. Yes. No, yeah. Yes, I, I you. saw it. Well, you're like most other people, including me. You don't always get to every email in your inbox. Yes. Yeah. No, I do them every day, Jeremy. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, well, I didn't see that one. Well, the Panel View Plus 6 has uh, been around for, I don't know, 10 years anyway. Then we had the Panel View Plus 7, or Panel View Plus before that. And now we've got the Panel View Plus 7 has been out for a couple years. And it's going to replace the 6 because the 6 is going obsolete in September 2021. September 2021. That's yep. not that far away. Oh, a little over a year. So, I mean, it'll creep up on us pretty quick. All right. So, they did a really good job. Rockwell did a really good job. On the Panel Plus standards to Panel Plus, as I remember that. Yeah, well, you also remember the pain in the butt it was if you went to a 32-bit to a 64-bit. Oh, yeah, system. you had to have two different computers, yeah. and yeah, it was so a pain. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Even if you go from uh, all the way back from a standard Panel View Plus to a Panel Plus 6 to a 7, that migration is, goes away. So you can migrate from a Plus, Plus 6 to a Plus 7 and don't have to worry about the 32-bit or the 64-bit problem. Oh, well, that's handy. That's yeah. handy. So is it something you can show us how to do? Oh, yeah, it's easy, man. So it's still use Factor Talk UME. As okay. long as you've got your original file, we just open it up and it'll do a conversion for you, and it happens almost automatically. Automatically. <laughs> automatically. Did you yeah. key that for us? <laughs> well, no, I might have stole it from a Rockwell guy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember who you were, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, All right, so, so you think you can show us? Yep, let's roll. I'll All show right, you right so now. we're going to take a look at that, see how well it goes, and then uh, we'll be back. So if we're going to convert our Panel View Plus 6 project over to a 7, the first thing we'll have, that's the MER runtime file. And we're going to open Factory Talk View ME Application Manager. So Application Manager do a lot, but on this one, we're going to restore the runtime application. So that's the one we've got on our desktop. So we'll go find that as a Panel View Plus 6 demo because we've lost the working APA file. And you can see the last time we did it, it was in version 6. Don't have a password. Here we could put a name if we want to rename it, whatever, just to keep it simple. So we know which one we've got. We're right. just going to leave it the same. Make sense? Makes sense, yeah. So it's going to do please wait while it loads up the application. Then it's going to start going through. You can see the different parts it's going. And if it were to fail, you'd get a report saying, here's where it failed. That's a really infrequent thing that it failed, but you can watch and see right here to, as a different step. So, if, oh, it fell on the setup editor. You need to contact me. You can keep, keeps falling, failing here. So that's where I could... Exactly. Maybe help you figure out. Would it give a log file? if it's Yeah, yeah, you'll for... get a log file when it fails too. Okay. So that, that comes back up. You just kind of have to cancel it and close it because it'll let you do other things if you want to. So all we did now is moved it from 6 to version 11 of ME Studio because that's what we have. And it, when we did that, restored it, it put it in this existing applications location. So there yeah, we so go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's version 6 again, as you see. And... We're, we know we're in version 11 because that's the one that's installed on my computer. But what if I don't use version 11? What if I've got like 9 or 10? Can we still do it? Yeah, absolutely. It'll just up convert it from 6 to 9 or 6 to 10 or whatever. And that's where it's a little pop-up there just said, hey, we're going to change this from 11 to, to from <coughs> 6 to 11. Okay, <coughs> I got you. Yeah, it looks like it's building the screens and the tags and yeah. all it. Yeah, it's same stuff. software, right? You're just kind of upgrading it to the newer version of said software. Gotcha. So you, the different things, it's graphics display. I mean, this looks a lot like the 6 you were working in. Right. This is just version 11 of it. Uh, now we've still got a Panel View Plus 6 application. It's just in version 11 at this point. Here's where we're going to make it a Panel View Plus 7. Oh, okay. So we've got to change the actual hardware yep. piece inside here too. Correct. So we're going to pick a 7 performance and 800 by 600. 800 by 600, so we'll keep that same layout. Okay, for the same resolution. Same for the graphics, and it's a performance model versus a standard on the radio buttons. And if I had a standard, I could have just picked standard. Just pick standard. Okay. And But you've got probably too many screens for a standard, but it would have bonked at you if you couldn't have done it right. Gotcha. And, well, yeah. And you, easy peasy. I mean, same resolution. Now it's ready to go into a Panel View Plus 7. You can build the MER file for firmware 8, 9, 10. So even though you've got 11 on your box. You're correct. Hey, yeah, it's easy, right? Yeah, I was. I had no idea it'd be that simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's easy peasy. It's not a problem at all. So well, that's good. The so, major thing you got to look out for is the mounting hole. 
The mounting hole itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is that? Well, if you remember the old panel views, TVs were square, everything was square back in the day, a lot of stuff's gone widescreen. Oh, I got you. So are, there are some of them that fit in the same hole. Uh, that's something that a lot of them don't if you go from a widescreen and migration process. So that's why the uh, your CED TRC HMI guy can help you figure that out if you need something. That'd be, <laughs> that, that'd be this guy. <laughs> so uh, let us know if we can help you in anything. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time on Tech Talk.